I'm gonna have 400 watts of power on top of my van and I want to be able to fire the Kodiak and fire the K2 solar generator as I will. So I wrote a letter email to Energy about putting the two units in parallel which I knew I wasn't going to do because it was dangerous but here's their response. Unfortunately the Kodiak cannot be connected to the K2 because the battery management system will end up fighting each other opening up the possibility of a thermal overload. The only way to power both units would be to have two separate panel arrays, one for each unit. Which is true, but it's not the only way. And so what I did is I'm going to get an ABC switch. That's the ABC switch. And I'm going to have one for the Kodiak and two for the K2. And I'll be able to switch between the two. And um, that's the way I'm going to run. So I'll be able to put 400 watts of power to the Kodiak. I'll be able to put 100 watts of power to the K2. A diff an additional advantage is I'll have a cigarette lighter extension for both the Kodiak and the K2. And when I have the Kodiak sitting on solar, I plug in K2. When I have the K2 sitting on solar, I plug in the Kodiak. So now I will be able to plug in both my major power supplies in the van. And if you guys follow me, you know that I have a real air conditioning. I have a 5,000 BTU air conditioning in the van that when it's running, it's running below 400 watts. So of course I cannot run it infinitely, but I sure could run it for a long, long time. And I'll be doing some, some uh, videos about that. And that, next to it is that last, you know, good for nothing inverter that I keep telling you about. Don't buy this piece of crap because it's dead. It should be powered up. There's the AGA, AGM battery right there. It's powered to it and the thing's dead to the world, but it's not really dead. It's when I have it on two. It just ta charges the AGM, but now I'm charging the Kodiak, okay? So the Kodiak is up and running. And if I turn this off, I don't even, oops, I, I have the inverter because of the computer, but which I'll turn, turn on in a second. It, it's at 12.66 of the batteries, and it's at 12.62 with the inverter on and I do have that, that's what's so good about the Kodiak you 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 want to use the computer then you plug it in there it is plugged in and this is a high gain antenna I use this high gain antenna to pull signals from further than the antenna of the of the laptop so that's my A a B switch and it's gonna run like it is and I'm gonna show some wiring the some wiring stuff on it later which I already took that's how I have it all hooked up but this is my crimper this is the hammer tap it and you squeeze it okay and and That's how I crimp my connectors. Now here's one that didn't work right. I didn't bang it enough. So the cables actually slipped out. You could see how. But this is the way I do it now. I, I take my crimper and I put my crimper here. I, I take my crimper and I put it to strike the front of it and I do then I 
extract the back of it and I do. Then I flip it over and I hit this twice, once here, once there. Then I flip it over another time and I hit that and I hit that and I consider it a solid connection. And so uh, that's uh, that's the way it is. I'm going to try this. I wasn't planning this. Gonna try to do it. Wasn't planning on it. So let's see. We, we turn off the we turn off the inverter and we see that it's getting solar power of 12.70. And I'm gonna throttle this to off. Go back to the inverter. I mean go back to the Kodak and notice it's dead. And so the the switch is on off, it's dead. Dead to the world. <clears throat> the switch is on. And it's back to being alive. And so that's my A, B switch. And that's how I'm going to power the Kodak and the K2 separate. That's how I'm going to power the Kodak and the K2 separately. And I'm getting... 12.72 volts of the 300 watt solar panel at this time. I put a physical barrier on my AB switch. That one is on the Kodiak, two is on the K2, and this physical barrier will not permit me to move the switch. It physically will not permit me to switch to move the switch to the A one and two combination and I'll go over it once more when you have it on one you connect it to the Kodiak when you have it on two you connect it to the K2 if you put it on one and two that means you have the Kodiak and the two both running off the solar but the two Kodiaks the, the two solar generators have battery management systems on them. And they generate a circulating current also. So what happened is each solar generator then would be getting solar power and getting power between each other because they'd be physically connected. And that's in violation of the energy caution warning, which I posted to it. And it's just bad. It's just bad. You know, you don't feed power from two different sources to the same device. Just very, very bad logic. And... Void your warranty. Destroy either one or both. And some guys want to do it with the diodes. God bless them. Do it with diodes. It can be done. This is my solution. One system that will feed both my solar generators. And I will keep them separate. And I'll go over it again. When the Kodiak is connected, I could charge the K2 off my van when it's running. When the K2 is connected, I could charge my Kodiak off my van running. So it is possible for me to have both being charged at the same time, but from two different sources, and neither of them are connected to the other between them. That's that's the way I'm doing it. This is how I started bare wire. I went ahead and I twisted the strings with my finger and so it looks like that. And then I just slip it on. Put it in my 
little crimper. Apply the hammer to it, and I have a little wooden floor to be able to bang it as hard as I want without hurting the the floor. I cut this this to length. I uh, then we'll slip this on, leaving the wider part to go back on this. I'll slip this onto this, and then I'll use this guy to put them together. I have it the way I want to. I slip, I slip this on, I slip this on. Now I'm gonna hammer it. But when I hammer it, I'm gonna have this face down and I'll hammer the round part. So we uh, next phase. This is the A A B switch. And this is battery one, battery two. I'm actually gonna have this tape off that the two cannot be put two together because a Kodiak or a K2 does not like being fed by two different sources. And the fact that I'll have the Kodiak on one and the K2 on two, I I uh, don't have intend to put the Kodak and uh, K2 together because each one has a different inverter and they run differently and I don't need any circulating current between them and I'm not going to feed my Kodiaks or my K2 from two different sources. It's not going to do it. It's going to come solar and it's going to be solar. This is the solar panel. It's known as the feed. And this is the extension for the Kodiak and is going to to one right now. So when that's the way it is. 13 millimeter to make the nuts bolt nuts tight there's the switch this is k1 no this is kodiak this will be k2 so the there's the thing i'll flip it over there it is so uh, there's the kodiak on there's the kodiak Kodiak off. One for the Kodiak, two for the K2.